so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Flippy! Hello, it's me, Flippy! And today, we're here at the Gorman D School in Santa Monica, California. And I am so excited to try some tasty food. And maybe we can learn how to cook it. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. There are so many cool things that you use to cook. <laughs> Look at this. This is a whisk. Ooh. <laughs> and you use a whisk to stir things up. Ooh. <laughs> you can use a big whisk or a teeny tiny baby whisk. <laughs> baby whisk or mommy whisk. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Whoa, do you know what this is? Yeah, it kind of looks like a log or a really big stick, <laughs> but this is a rolling pin. And you use a rolling pin to roll out some dough. Woo, <laughs> yeah. So you can make a pizza or a pie. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. It looks like a tasty cake. <laughs> I want to try the icing. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is not a real cake. It's a fake cake. <laughs> that rhymes. Whoa. And it looks like there's someone back there cooking. Hello. Hey, I bet that's the chef. Let's go back and say hello. <laughs> Come on. Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hey, Blippi. I'm Chef Nigel. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chef Nigel. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you as well. Whoa, and is this your kitchen? Yes, it is. Whoa, it's so nice. <laughs> and it looks like you can cook a lot of food here. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> well, you said you were a chef, and I know chefs cook food, but what exactly does a chef do other than cook? Well, a chef is responsible for the management of the kitchen and they're responsible for all the food that comes out of the kitchen. Oh, that sounds like a really important job <laughs> and a yummy job with all the food. <laughs> yes, it is. Whoa, and what's this? This is our range and stove. This is where we boil water as well as saute vegetables. Whoa, <laughs> it looks so cool and it's so big. <laughs> it's very hot. Oh, yes, stoves and ranges and ovens are really hot, so you never want to cook with one without a grown-up. <laughs> well, I'm getting excited about cooking some food, talking about all this food. Do you think I could help you cook something? Matter of fact, you can be my sous chef for the day. Whoa, well, what's a sous chef? Basically, you're gonna be my assistant and I'm gonna tell you to cook everything. <laughs> That's awesome, I get to cook today. <laughs> that would be so fun. Well, are we all ready to start? Well, first let's go over some equipment. Okay. All right, and this is very important. These are measuring spoons. Whoa, measuring spoons? <laughs> They're so jiggly. Wow, and they're all different sizes. Yeah, teaspoon, tablespoon, <laughs> whatever you need so you can get exactly the right amount for your recipe. <laughs> and last but not least, this is our mixer. Whoa, check it out. It's a really big industrial mixer. <laughs> yeah. Mm, well, why would I use a mixer instead of a whisk? Well, a mixer is gonna save your arm if you have things to make like those, which take a lot of mixing, a lot of arm movement. This is your bad boy. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well try the mixer. Yeah, instead of using a whisk and stirring and stirring and stirring, <laughs> you can just use the mixer to help out. <laughs> hi, Chef Nigel. Hi, Blippi. Oh, hi. I'm Leo the waiter. We'd like to start with one order of shrimp and grits. Okay. Okay, <laughs> thank <Yes>. you. <laughs> Whoa, we get to make shrimp and grits. Mm, Nigel, do you know how to make shrimp and grits? I sure do. Oh, <laughs> great. Well, can we make it together? We can, but first you need an apron. Okay, <laughs> let's go find an apron. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, we have our aprons on and we washed our hands. Yes, we did. <laughs> and I think we're all ready to start cooking. But first, hmm, I think we need to get all the ingredients. Yes, and this is your ingredient card. Whoa, look, <laughs> it's an ingredient card with everything we need. Okay, I am so excited to start eating shrimp and grits. <laughs> it's so delicious and has such amazing flavor. <laughs> well, a quick tidbit about this recipe. Whoa. It's a, a Creole recipe, it's Creole influenced. Whoa, well, what's Creole? Well, Creole is a mixture of different cultures, African, Spanish, French, Indian, 
a few others, um, and it's primarily found in New Orleans and Texas. Whoa, that is so awesome. I am so excited to eat some tasty Creole food, shrimp and grits. <laughs> well, while you get these ingredients, I'm gonna start the grits for you. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Okay, we need to find all the ingredients for the recipe. First, it says we need butter and seafood stock. Hmm, oh, <laughs> here's the butter and the seafood stock. Whoa! Hmm, let's see what we need next. Whoa, we need honey, roasted mushrooms, and molasses. We have, hmm, molasses, it's the color brown, and mushrooms. <laughs> Whoa, it's also the color brown. Ah, <laughs> they taste so sweet and savory. <laughs> Hmm, they smell really good. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. Yeah, we need this too. It's honey, and honey is a golden color. But when it's all pushed together in a container, it kind of looks brown. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, the next ingredient we need are tomatoes. Yeah, and these are cherry tomatoes because they're the size of a cherry, and they're the color red. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. We also need some cream, which is the color cream, and some water. Okay, let's take this back to Nigel and get started. Here we go. All right, Blippi. Whoa, hi, Chef Nigel. Hello. We got all of our ingredients for shrimp and grits. Looking good. <laughs> Okay, so what's the first step to make some tasty food? Well, you washed your hands already. Okay. Now I'm gonna have you put on some gloves. Whoa, make sure you wash your hands. And sometimes when you're cooking, you need to put on gloves to be extra sanitary. <laughs> Especially yeah. when we're touching raw meat, or mm -hmm. in this case, raw shrimp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, one glove, two gloves. <laughs> we do this because we don't wanna cross contaminate. Okay. Yeah, we want to keep the kitchen nice and clean. <laughs> okay, I see we have some shrimp. Yes, we do. So what do we do first with the shrimp? So our first step, now that we have our gloves on, I okay. want you to season the shrimp with the Creole seasoning. So we have the Creole seasoning. I'll hold it for you. Okay, and we have the shrimp. And uh, what do we do? We want to season and we want to keep our hand a little high and we just want to make sure we sprinkle. Whoa. Generous sprinkle. <laughs> okay. So I'll let you handle that. Let's do it. We'll take a pinch of the Creole seasoning. Whoa! <laughs> it's raining seasoning. <laughs> and I'll use my other hand to mix it up. <laughs> Let's try it at the same time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think we got a lot of seasoning. <laughs> okay, and now we just gotta mix them up a bit. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? Do you think we're ready? <laughs> Great, okay, we can start. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna saute these shrimp. So go ahead and put the shrimp down. Okay. Grab the oil. Whoa, we got some oil. And I've turned our fire on medium heat. And okay. again, you wanna make sure you do this with an adult. Mm -hmm. You can have a grown up help you out. All right. Okay, or you can have a Chef Nigel help you out. Thank you. <laughs> Here you go. There we go. We're gonna pour a little bit of this oil in the pan. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. And next, we're gonna grab that shrimp and bring it over to me. Okay, here you go. And with our tongs, we literally place the shrimp in the oil. Oh. And so what we're looking for, we want the shrimp to actually change color. They're gonna turn red, and that's gonna let us know that the shrimp are done. Whoa, that's so cool. When you cook the shrimp, they change color. And we know they're done when they're red. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> keep looking at the shrimp. And so we're gonna slightly turn these just to make sure they're cooking on both sides. Oh, can I try turning some? Here you go. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Flipping the shrimp. There you go. Looking good, Blimpy. Whoa. <laughs> wow, being a chef is fun. Oh, being a sous chef. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, so now that our shrimp have started to curl and started to change color, we're going to remove them from the pan and we're gonna turn our pan down, the heat on our pan down. Okay. Turn it down. Yeah. And we're gonna take the shrimp out. Okay. 
So now, we're gonna deglaze the pan. Whoa. Okay, deglazing the pan. Get a little bit of this on it. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> deglazing Whoa. the pan actually gets off a lot of the sediment at the bottom of your. Whoa. So now I'm gonna ask you to grab me the seafood stock. Okay. Whoa. Uh, is this it here? Yes, it is. The seafood stock. And we're gonna pour that in our pan. Cooking is so awesome and steamy. Yes, indeed. <laughs> it looks like a steam train. Choo choo. <laughs> All the steam coming off the stove top. Do you smell Ooh. it? Mmm, it smells so good. <laughs> so this is gonna be the base for our sauce, right? So okay. We've already sauteed our shrimp. Mm -hmm. Now we've added our stock. Okay, cool. Okay, we're gonna let that slowly reduce. And the next ingredient is our gastric. Whoa, okay. Oh, here it is right here. <laughs> There you go. Our gastrique is actually made of molasses and Worcestershire sauce. Whoa, that sounds tasty. And it gives us a little pungent sweet and sour kick to our kitchen. Oh, that's so cool. Well, what do we do with this? So this, we're gonna pour a small amount into our pan and this is gonna give us that um that we mm. need in our dip. <laughs> I love it. Tasty food that has a bit of an um. Yes, yes indeed. So we'll take this off. Oh, we're putting the gastrique in the pan with the stock. With the stock, yes we are. Whoa, that's so beautiful. Yes, it is. It's changing colors. Wow. And as this starts to simmer, it's going to come together. The last thing that we're gonna do is add our butter and kind of mount the sauce. Whoa. Once we add our butter, the shrimp that we have, we're gonna add it back to this liquid. We're gonna add those roast roasted mushrooms and the tomatoes. Whoa, and then mushrooms we'll and tomatoes? <laughs> and then we'll plate up our dish. Oh, okay. okay. Sounds so tasty. It's amazing. Oh, it smells so good. You smell all the delicious Creole seasoning. You smell the tomatoes, the mushroom, the grits. Oh, it's so tasty. <laughs> and I'll let you finish with a little bit of pepper. Oh yeah, remember the pepper mill. Here we go. That looks amazing. <laughs> we did it. We did it. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, this looks amazing. Thanks, Chef Nigel and sous chef Flippy. You're welcome. <laughs> Next, we'd like to have the seafood gumbo. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Okay. Oh, seafood gumbo, that sounds really tasty. Do you know how to make that too? I definitely know how to make that. Whoa, <laughs> you're an awesome chef, Chef Nigel. Why, thank you, why, thank you. Huh. Let me give you a little bit of information on gumbo. Oh. Well, gumbo, the word gumbo comes from the West African word ngumbo, oh. which translates to okra. Wow, that's so interesting. <laughs> Okra's a thickener, and we're using okra in our gumbo. Whoa, I love okra. It's so tasty, especially if it's fried. Mm. <laughs> well, let me give you this ingredient list. Okay. You go ahead and take care of that. I'll start food. Okay, let's go find some ingredients while Chef Nigel starts on the food. <laughs> Come on. Hmm, this is a really interesting looking ingredient. Whoa, it's kind of cold because it's been in the refrigerator and it's a little fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, this is okra. Whoa, have you had okra before? <laughs> it's so yummy. You can have it so many ways too, fried. But today we're gonna put it in the gumbo. <laughs> well, I think we have all our ingredients. Let's go back to Chef Nigel. Here we go. <laughs> Follow me. Hi, Chef Nigel, I got the okra. Ah, there we go, there we go, Whoa, needed man. that. I got some awesome ingredients too. Looking good, you got everything we needed. I think so. Are we ready to start on the gumbo? Yes, we are. <laughs> cool. All so, right. So what's the first step? I want you to grab that oil. Okay. And go ahead and pour it into the pot. Oh, got some oil, just like in the shrimp and grits. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put it in the pot. Here we go. Go ahead. Ooh. Nice, okay. Next, we're gonna grab our onions, celery, and bell peppers. Whoa, onions, celery, and bell peppers. Go ahead, throw that in there. Here we go. Some onions, whoa. <laughs> Some celery. There we go. And bell peppers. Whoa, they're green. <laughs> whoa. And we're gonna get a quick saute on these, okay? So you whoa. wanna go ahead and give that a stir? Yeah, look. 
and a spatula. And we're gonna use it to stir up all the yummy vegetables. Whoa, look! And here's the cut up okra. We can add that. Go ahead and add that. Okay, here we go. Bye bye okra. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Cooking is so fun. <laughs> you you want to make sure you give that a good whirl. <laughs> there you go. And so what you want to do with the okra, you want to make sure that it cooks out relatively well. You want all of the liquid to cook out of it. Okay, we got to keep cooking all these ingredients and stirring. <laughs> Whoa, it's really fun to be a sous chef when you have a great chef like Chef Nigel. Well, thank you. Aw. <laughs> all right, you're looking great, okay? Okay. So now that those have sauteed and started to sweat a little bit, we want to add our tomato sauce. Oh. Or excuse me, tomato paste. Ooh, tomato paste. It's like tomato sauce, but this looks really thick. It's reduced. Oh. Here we go. Plop. Plop. There we go. <laughs> and let's see if we can get one more. There we go. Ooh. And make sure you mix the tomato paste in really well. Okay, here we go. All right, that's looking good. That's smelling good. <laughs> I love cooking because it makes the kitchen smell so delicious. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, now that we have that sauteing and you hear that, you hear that sound? It's amazing, right? <laughs> garlic. Go ahead and throw that garlic okay. in there. Now that it starts to sizzle, you can add some garlic. Mm -hmm. There you go. Go ahead and mix that up. Oh. Making sure that we stir a lot when we add all the ingredients. Yes, indeed. Okay. Oh, it smells really good, but do you hear that? I hear it. Sizzling. <laughs> Ooh. All right, our next step, we're gonna add our seafood stock. Whoa, okay, is that this right here? Yes, it is. Okay, we're gonna pour it into the bowl, but make sure you don't splash. Exactly. This can be really hot. Whoa! Beautiful. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Starting to look like a gumbo now. Yes, it is. <laughs> and so we're gonna let that slowly simmer, and while it's simmering, we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, okay? So go ahead and add our chili flakes. Chili flakes. Boom. Our thyme. Thyme. Fresh thyme. Fresh thyme. <laughs> Even better. We have a bay leaf over there. Oh. Or two. One bay leaf. Woo. <laughs> All right. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Woo. We'll use our, there we go. There we go. <laughs> and paprika. Paprika. Woo. Whoa. All right. <laughs> It looks so seasoned. Yes, it is. And do we want some of this too? Yes, we want to do about a, two pinches of salt. Two pinches. We don't want all the salt. That would be so salty. Mm. And we don't do a lot of salt on the front end because we can season it on the back end. Oh yeah, at the end we can put extra salt if we need it to be a little saltier. <laughs> One pinch and two pinches. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that looks really good. Oh, there we go. Whoa. <laughs> It smells so tasty. And it's changing color. Yes, indeed. Because we put all the spices in, it's starting to look more red. Yes, indeed. So now, we're gonna let this simmer for about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put the top on and let that simmer. Okay, and now we just wait. Now we wait. And now we wait. All right. Mmm. <laughs> you wanna smell it? Oh, it smells even better. And it looks like it's all done. And oh yeah. So now, <laughs> I'm gonna wipe these edges off. And here's our gumbo. Whoa, it looks so delicious. <laughs> wow, this looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our last order is for beignets. Beignets. <laughs> awesome, thank you. No problem. No, beignets? Yes, beignets. Mm, that sounds really tasty. And I think I've had a beignet before, but does that have shrimp in it? It definitely does not. Oh, well, how do you make a beignet? A beignet is basically a donut. A donut? <laughs> Yum! Well, we definitely need to make some of those. <laughs> yes, indeed. Let's get our ingredients and get started. Okay. Oh, I have your ingredient list. Oh, here we go. Great, I'll be right back. <laughs> well, it looks like we have all the ingredients. Time to go back to Chef Nigel and make some tasty beignets. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Hey, Blippi. Hi, I got all the ingredients for some delicious beignets. Okay, looking good, looking good. Whoa, and what's this? 
it looks like there's a really cool attachment on the mixer. Yes, this is our Ooh. dough hook attachment. <laughs> Whoa, I can't wait to try it out. Are we gonna use that to make the beignets? Yes, we are. <laughs> cool, so what's the first step? Our first step, you're gonna add this yeast to our water. Oh, we have some yeast and some water. Put those together like this? Yes, and all that's it? going to balloon the yeast. Whoa, blooming some yeast. Can I and put all of it? You can put all of it. Okay. <laughs> And we're gonna let that hydrate. Okay. Okay, go ahead and put that down. Put that down. <laughs> our next step, let's grab our flour. Okay, whoa. Go ahead and throw it in there. Get some flour. <laughs> Woo. Watch yourself. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> okay, let's grab our sugar and our salt. Ooh, sugar and salt. Hmm. <laughs> they look really similar. Yeah, they both are little grains but they do not taste the same. No, they do not. <laughs> nope. Okay, here we go. Got that. Sugar. Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and salt. There we go, all in there. There we go. <laughs> okay. And, and what next? So we have our eggs, which I've already cracked for you. Oh, And well, what we you. have here is cold butter, but I've already melted your butter for you. Well, perfect, let's use that. So <laughs> we're gonna start with our eggs. So you can go ahead and add the eggs in. Okay. Oh, we cracked. Three eggs. One, two, three. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to mix it up. So those are our eggs. Now let's add our milk. Okay, grab some milk, throw it in. Okay. Now this is the best part. We're gonna close this. We're gonna lock it. We're gonna turn it on. And the yeast that we bloomed earlier, mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw that in there. Whoa! Or pour it in there, excuse me. <laughs> you hear the mixer? Whoa! It sounds so powerful, mixing up all the dough. And now, we put in some yeast. There we go. And we want that to be completely <laughs> combined before we add our melted butter. Okay. And it looks like it's almost there. It's almost there. I think we're good. I think we're okay. good. <laughs> now here goes the melted butter. Bye-bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. <laughs> there it goes. Whoa, that smells so good. It smells like movie theater popcorn. Yes, indeed. Mm. And so now we're gonna let this mix until it comes together. But guess what? I've already mixed some, made some dough for you Whoa. and rolled it out for you. Oh, great. <laughs> so let's turn this off right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna fry some beignets that I already have for you. Whoa. <laughs> Here's our beignets. So one thing is we wanna make sure that the beignets rest. So these have rested overnight and I rolled them out to be relatively flat. Whoa. About an inch flat. <laughs> They're super flat. And now we get to fry them? Yes, we do. So now this is where you want to make sure you have a parent with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Very frying cool. can be dangerous. Very <laughs> dangerous. Anything that's hot, you want to have a grown up with you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and so what we do is we grab our beignet and we lightly lay it into the, fire, the oil, okay? Oh, do you hear that? You that's gently true. put the beignet in and it starts to sizzle and Blow up. <laughs> yeah, look, they're puffing up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoa, it looks so delicious. Can yeah. I try? You can. Okay. Be very careful. Here we go. Be very careful. You want a grown up to help you do this part. There we go. Whoa. I can't wait to finish these videos. It smells so sweet. Mm, and they look so tasty. <laughs> now, one thing I did forget to ask you to grab me is a piece of paper, a paper towel. Oh. Here you go. <laughs> and this is a this is a quick, quick hack that we use. So, this is going to grab some of the oil from the beignets, okay? Oh, it helps to dry it off. Yes, indeed. Oh. Okay, so with this slotted spoon, we're gonna get all the oil off. Whoa, look, they got so big and puffed up. It almost looks like they're beignet pillows. <laughs> they are little pillows, pillows of love. Yeah, and they look like tasty pillows too. <laughs> All right, now we're not finished Ooh. yet. Guess what we do now? Mm. We top it off with powdered sugar. Powdered sugar? <laughs> That's sweet. And I have some here for you. You wanna do the honors? Okay, here we go. And we wanna make it rain sugar so it's nice and even. Yes, we do. Okay, woo! There we go. It's raining powdered sugar. <laughs> there we go. This is beautiful. Whoa! Mm. You can you can add more sugar. More sugar? Hmm. More sugar. You think I should put more sugar? 
I think you should. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Woo! All right, that's beautiful. There we go. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of sugar. It is. It looks like a winter wonderland. Yes, it does. Whoa. <laughs> here you go. Oh, <laughs> they look so tasty. Those look delicious. May I take them? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Wow, that was awesome. It was. We made some pretty amazing recipes today. Yes, we did. Well, thank you for letting me be your sous chef. Thank you for all your help. Ah, <laughs> well, all the food looked amazing. I sure wish I could try it. You need to try all those dishes. I get to try all the dishes? You cooked them. <laughs> awesome. Okay, you and I can go taste everything we made today. <laughs> Thanks, Chef Nigel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good one. <laughs> I am so excited to try the amazing food we cooked today. <laughs> it's time to taste it. So tasty, <laughs> yeah. All three of our Creole dishes tasted amazing. Yeah, the shrimp and grits tasted a little spicy and really savory. Yeah, and the seafood gumbo tasted seafoody. Yeah, and it was so nice and hearty <laughs> and warm. <laughs> but you can't beat a beignet for dessert. They were so sweet and so sugary, but nice and fluffy. <laughs> I had so much fun learning to cook all of these things and being Chef Nigel's sous chef. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Woo! Learn about it'll make you want to shout with me.